stuff for you today because I want to show off all my Emma Christina products with you. When I first opened my Etsy shop for Emma Christina, the only things I had were my prints. And a lot has changed since then. I used to print all of the prints at home and maybe they weren't the best quality. <laughs> so... Once I realized that my business was growing a little bit and the demand for my prints was starting to get a little bit higher, I finally decided to get my prints professionally printed and I'm so glad that I did that. I don't have to have big stocks at home help at all. Well, I was going to speak Swedish. <laughs> uh, I print all of my prints to order after I, they are sold in my shop, so that's really easy. I just order them online at my print shop and I go to pick them up when they're ready and then I can go and send them at the post office which is pretty much next door so it's really convenient and quick and easy and I love it. All of my prints come in five sizes and such a one of my favorite sizes is the medium size. I think it's so perfect. It's not too big and it's not too small. This is my popular 30 nail polishes print. I also have the small size, it's also nice, I think it looks better with these prints that have just one item rather than ones like the 30 nail polishes, they're quite small and you can hardly see them, but it's still cute. I really love creating the illustrations for my shop, it's one of my favorite things to do. I love writing down all my little ideas and then sitting down to draw them and then publishing them and see if you like them, <laughs> if you like them or not. It's always hard to tell. My Emma Casina prints are the item that I'm most known for, but I also create other products. Like I came out with silk scarves in 2011. I worked for months creating these and trying to find somewhere to print them. It was a really amazing process and it was so exciting to to do like, it's hard to show these but they're printed on 100% silk and it's so soft and perfect that like hardly any variations in the printing and they're stunning they're printed in the UK and also sewn the edges that are sewn in the UK as well I chose mach machine sewn hems instead of the um, the classic rolled edges because I think it's cleaner and more perfect, more my style. My first collection came out in size 90 by 90 centimeters and it's pretty amazing size to be able to wrap around your neck several times or your hair and sit really pretty and beautiful. It's a colorful statement. I I really like these. I love to put them in a triangle and then rolling them to a long, tying the edges, two little ends together, and then using it like a snood or whatever they're called. There you go. I like this look. A little bit more uh, contemporary way of wearing a scarf rather than so you don't feel like you're a granny or a flight stewardess when you just have it <laughs> knotted at your neck. So that's what I like to do. You can also wear them in your hand. Recently, I created a different size, the 65 by 65 centimeters. They're also on a slightly different quality of silk and these are a perfect size for your hair because they just wrap once like this I can't tie you can tie into a nice little bow or whatnot a little mini bandana kind of cute I never wear it like that though <laughs> or just around your neck if you if you like the flight stewardess look. Okay. So created 
pocket squares for our gentlemen friends because I don't want them to feel left out. So I've created some. This one's inspired by dandies. And since I'm such a Francophile, I made one for uh, Louis the Sixteenth, Marie Antoinette's king. And they look really nice tucked into your suit. And you can just see the tops with a little chain detail. So, and then it's a conversation piece, I think. I also created makeup bags and this one, my favorite with the lipsticks and the black details. These were really fun to create as well. I worked with a, a fellow Etsy seller to sew the bags. So it's a little comp collaboration project was really fun for me. I had the labels created by an Etsy company as well. I also have another design which has mini little nail polish bottles and this one comes in pink and blue. I have so many projects that I want to work on and I have so many ideas but sometimes it just takes so long to figure out all the production and all that part. The, the boring part, so I'm not really sure when all of these items are going to come out, but I am definitely working on iPhone cases and other cases for other phones as well. And that's going to be really fun. I hope that they come out in the next coming weeks. And I would also really like to come up with more fabric patterns, so I want to print them on tote bags or on pillows and or have them just for sale by the meter. So many ideas and I just have to find a really good printer with good prices and I also need to find somewhere to sew. So if you have any tips, feel free to let me know. <laughs> That'd be great. I also want to come up with some trays. I really love the idea of creating decorative trays where you can uh, store, where you can store all of your jewelry, little small trays. You can put your special rings on your nightstand. I think that would be really pretty, so I'm working on that. What else? I also really hope that I get to do lots of collaborations in the future with companies or other Etsy sellers or who knows. I'm really excited for what's going to happen. I would love to hear what you would like me to create if you really want to see pillows in my shop or if there's another item that I haven't even mentioned. I really love creating products and I hope that I'll come up with lots of exciting new things in the next coming year. But other times when I create a pattern or something that's going to be used on the internet or the web, you know, that's what, where the kids call